to my channel, welcome. I am Alyssa and I am very excited to have you here today because we are making no bake desserts. I don't know about you, but I absolutely love sweet treats, especially when they're healthy. But what I don't love is turning on my oven, heating up my apartment when it is 95 degrees out. So instead, we are going to make healthy, no-bake versions of some of our favorite treats. And I'm really excited to be joined by Thrive Market in today's video. If you aren't familiar with Thrive, it is an online grocery retailer where I personally buy almost all of my non-perishables. So I am using a bunch of the products that I get on Thrive in today's video, but if you're interested in checking out Thrive, I highly recommend it. I have a special offer for you. You can click the link in the description box below, get 25% off your first order, free shipping, and you're gonna get a free 30-day trial. So it's an amazing deal, and I know that you guys are going to fall in love with it. I have been using it for a year and a half. It is something that I use every single month, and as you're gonna see from today's video, they have a huge range of products Everything from the basics like flowers, beans, grains, nuts, seeds, all the way over to natural beauty, housewares, and all that stuff. And everything is at least 25% off. So I highly recommend that you guys check it out. Go ahead and click that link in the description box below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into our no-bake dessert recipes. First up are our Snicker Banana Bites. And we are going to be using Thrive Market's Medjool dates in this recipe. And we're gonna start by soaking them in boiling water. And you're just gonna wanna pit them first, then add the boiling water and let them sit for about 15 minutes. And then we'll take the dates out of the water, put them into a blender, and then add two tablespoons of the water that they were soaking in into the blender as well. And you're gonna just blend this up and this will serve as our caramel. So for our bananas, we are going to just slice those up into little rounds. And I actually recommend using a less ripe banana than I did here. These didn't totally freeze, as you'll see, but just slice them into rounds and then transfer them onto a parchment lined baking sheet. And then we're gonna do a layer of creamy peanut butter and Thrive Market has a really great peanut butter that is perfect for this, so I will link that below. So just add the peanut butter on top and you're gonna use about a teaspoon on each banana. And then we're going to do our caramel layer. And again, it's about probably a half a teaspoon. And then you're gonna freeze this for about an hour. When you're ready to do your chocolate coating, you can melt one cup of dark chocolate chips. And then we're just gonna dunk our frozen banana into the chocolate and you're gonna to wanna to tap off the excess chocolate so that you have enough to cover all of the bananas. And then you can just transfer this little banana onto the baking sheet. Top it with some crushed peanuts and repeat until you have got all of your banana bites covered. And then these are gonna go back in the freezer for another one to two hours, preferably overnight if you wanna get the bananas super hard and then you can enjoy them as is. These are gonna need to be stored in the freezer so that they don't get too melty, but these are such a fun summer treat and they're a total crowd pleaser, kid and adult friendly alike. Our second recipe are mini strawberry cheesecakes and we are going to be using the Thrive Market cashews for this recipe. This is what the base is made out of. So we're gonna start again by soaking the cashews. This is just gonna help them get really blended and smooth. So you're gonna soak them in hot water for at least two hours. And then while they're soaking, we can make the crust. So we're gonna make the crust out of medjool dates, pecans, organic cinnamon powder, and some coconut oil. And then you're just gonna blend this up until it turns into a really kind of sticky dough. This is the texture that you're looking for. You should be able to squeeze it between your fingers and it will hold its shape. We're gonna be using a mini muffin tin for these cheesecake bites. And a trick to get them to release easily is to put a little piece of parchment paper into the well of each of the muffin tins. And this is what I'm doing here. I just laid them all down. Once that's done, we can add our crust into the bottom of each of the muffin tins. And it's about a teaspoon per muffin tin. Then you'll just use your hands to really press it in. You wanna make sure it's pretty compact in there so that it stays together when you add your filling. So once you've got those all done, you can pop this in the freezer while you make the filling. Doesn't really matter, you don't have to. And then for our filling, we're going to drain and rinse the cashews and add them into a blender, along with some of these freeze-dried organic strawberries. And I got this on Thrive. They have a bunch of different flavors, so you can check out the other fruits they have and they will totally work in place of the strawberries for this recipe. And we're gonna add in about a cup of those strawberries as well as some maple syrup and some coconut oil. 
And then we're gonna blend this all up with some non-dairy milk until it is smooth and creamy. And then we're just gonna transfer our cheesecake filling on top of the crust. And um, we'll use about a tablespoon per cheesecake. And then you can sprinkle on some of those dried strawberries if you'd want. And then you're gonna wanna freeze this for at least six hours, but preferably overnight if you can. That will just really help them firm up. And then when you're ready to serve, you can just pull out the little tabs and your cheesecake bites should pop right out. And here's what they look like. Aren't they the cutest little things ever? I find letting them sit at room temperature for about five minutes is a really great way to make them a little bit softer and easier to bite into. But here they are, and I'm just gonna show you what they look like on the inside. They honestly taste like strawberry cheesecake, and they are awesome. And then last but not least, we are making chocolate crunch bars. And again, we're gonna be using dates as the base of this recipe. So we're gonna add about a cup and a half of medjool dates into our food processor along with some walnuts. And then we'll just blend this up until it forms a crumbly, almost sandy texture. And then you're gonna add in your raw cacao powder, some peanut butter, and some sea salt and blend this all together until a dough starts to form. And you can get all of these ingredients on Thrive Market, so I'll make sure to link them all below. And then to make them extra decadent, I added in some maple syrup, but you totally don't have to. And then for the crunch, we're adding a cup of brown rice krispies, and you're just gonna pulse those in until they are evenly incorporated throughout that brownie mixture. Then we'll just transfer this into a parchment lined baking pan. I used an eight by eight pan and press it down with your hands and make sure you really press it down firmly. This will help them stay together. You can see that I used the bottom of a measuring cup to really help make sure that I was getting all the ingredients compacted in there. And then you'll just refrigerate or freeze this for about an hour and then we'll just remove it and slice them up. So I slice these like brownies, but you could slice them into granola bar shapes. Whatever shape you want is totally fine. And these are on the thinner side, but they do store really well. So you can take them as energy bars, pre-workout, post-workout snacks, but they are also really decadent and they taste like a brownie with a little bit of crunch. I think you guys are really gonna love them and I can't wait to see you make them. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, everybody. If you end up making any of these no-bake desserts, I would love to see a photo on Instagram. You can tag at Simply Quinoa or use the hashtag Simply Quinoa. That just helps me easily find your photo, lets me give you a little like and show you some love in return. Scrolling through those hashtags and looking at the photos that you guys upload is absolutely one of my favorite parts of the day. So keep on sharing because it makes me smile and it is so amazing. Other than that, I just wanna thank you guys so much for being here today. I also wanna thank our sponsor for today's video, which is Thrive Market. If you aren't familiar with Thrive Market, again, I have left a link in the description box below. That link will give you 25% off your first order, free shipping, as well as a free 30-day trial. So it's a great way to test it out, and I know that you guys are going to absolutely love it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, there is a red button right below this video that will automatically subscribe you. And if you would like to see some more videos, I have linked them over here. Other than that, I hope you have a really great rest of your day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.